We can also look at the partial sums for geometric sequences. Remember, geometric sequences have to do with multiplication, which means we let r be our common ratio and a1 be our first term. If we have a geometric sequence, just like with our arithmetic sequence, we get a explicit formula that helps us to sum this. The formula for a geometric sequence is we take the first term times one minus the common ratio to the nth power all over one minus r. And the easiest way is just to look at an example. So for example five, we're looking at the sum from two to seven of five times negative one half to the i. In order to use this, we do need to determine what our first term is. So here, a1 will be when we plug in two. So we get five times negative one half squared. Negative one half squared is one fourth, so we get five fourths. Then we can see that since negative one half is the base of our exponent, then that must be the common ratio. So r equals negative one half. At this point, the last thing we need to recognize is that because we go from two to seven, not one to seven, that we actually have six terms. So n equals six. We use all of this information and plug it into our formula. So s sub six, because we are summing six terms, will be five fourths times one minus negative one half to the sixth all over one minus negative one half. This gives me, there we go, up top I get five fourths times one minus one sixty fourth and then in the denominator I get three halves now I get 5 fourths times 63 60 fourths all over 3 halves and 3 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds a couple of things will reduce here 2 and 4 reduces to give me a 2 down here 3 and 63 reduce I get 21 and that's about it so I get 5 times 21 which is 105 all over 2 times 64, which is 128. Thus, my sixth partial sum is 105 over 108. And you can write this in a decimal form if you want to, or leave it as a fraction, and yes, this should be 128, not 108. And that's it. I know that seems like a lot, but what you really just need to make sure you've got down is that you understand what sums are in general and then you know how to find partial sums.